Yo, welcome back to the YouTube page. Today's topic is going to be the hard truth of baseball and life. And before we get into it, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube page down below. Like the video definitely helps me out a lot. So with that said, we'll get into it. The hard truth about sports and life and particularly baseball is it's really hard to make it to the MLB. It's really hard to play college baseball. When you look at it statistically, 3% of every high school athlete will go on to play college. If you think about it, everybody plays Little League. A lot of people play JV baseball. Fewer people play varsity, but like I said, 3% of varsity baseball players will go on to play college baseball. A smaller percentage of that, less than 1% of college athletes will ever step foot on an MLB field. So statistically speaking, one out of every 3,000 high school athletes will ever play in the MLB. So it's really hard, and that's the reality of it. A lot of kids will come to me and say, like, I want to be in the MLB one day. So I take a look at their habits, and their habits aren't really pointing in that direction. So the real question to ask yourself is not, I wonder if I can play in the MLB one day. It's, do I have habits that are one out of 3,000 type habits? If I lined you up with the top 3,000 baseball players in high school, would you be the one guy that stands out? Probably not. And granted, this is really hard, and it's not necessarily an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, but the point is that you need to be really, really good, and playing in the MLB is really, really hard. So let's take a step back and look at playing in college. 3% of high school athletes will go on to play college baseball. So what that means is you need to be a one out of every 30 player, give or take. And if you think about it, there's probably 30 kids in a high school program. All you have to do is just be the best one in your high school program, and you'll have a chance to play college. Granted, there's a few, there's definitely high schools where you'll have multiple kids go and play college, but the point is, and it's the same as playing in the MLB, is do you have the habits that make you a one out of 30 baseball player? If I lined you up with the 30 kids in your high school, are you a guy that stands out based on your habits? And it's going to be easy to tell who has good habits and who doesn't based on performance. Are you the guy who's going to go out and perform, or are you the guy who's not going to go out and perform day in and day out? And the guy who's going to go out and perform day in and day out is the guy who has better habits. He's the guy who's worked more, practiced more, and taken it more seriously. And that's the guy who's going to go play college sports. So I've made a video on this in the past. Habits are just so, so important. If you can develop good habits that are going to lead you towards the goal or the destination that you're hoping to get to, you're going to get there. But it starts with making a decision. So when I ask you, do you want to play college sports, and you say, yeah, I'm going to look at your habits and they're going to tell me the true answer because talk is cheap, but actions are really going to speak louder than the words. So again, the moral of this whole video is life and baseball in particular is very, very hard. So what are you doing to set yourself apart? What are you doing to make it a little bit easier on yourself to have success?